Now using these springs is uh, really handy because it allows you a lot of versatility. It's easy to get things uh, lined up and in there. And of course they're not really going to slip because of the extra pressure. So we got the one motor and the two lights. And now we'll give it a little bit of juice. And this guy is ready to rock, essentially. Oh, motor motor slip out. Yeah, so the motor slipped out there because I'm moving everything around a lot. But once fixed into place, of course, it's not going to slip too much and everything will be happy. There we go. So this is essentially it. I don't have any resistors on these LEDs. Oh, something happened here. Ah, I see. So if the motor sticks, then the lights start to give out. So that's an interesting little fact that I was not aware of. So that's probably the motors trying to take a lot more juice to try and uh, overcome the force that's stopping it. I don't know if these are flickering on the camera, but they almost seem like they might be in person. It could just be the fact that they're shaking a lot. But overall, for a first effort with uh, gears and motors, I'm definitely fairly happy about it, and I'm not too surprised that it's, uh, well, I am surprised that it's come out as well as it has, and I think it's going to work pretty well for what I'm looking for. It's not like I'm going to be running this thing all the time or anything, so I'm not too worried about that. It'll be probably seconds or maybe a minute at the most per event. Uh, one other thing I should note is I don't have any resistors on these LEDs. I found uh, myself a 3 volt power source. And I had previously mentioned that this runs off of 6 volts, so I was thinking that if I put in 3 volts, that would make it run at half speed. However, it doesn't work that way. I was told by an electronics guy that uh, there's a lot of factors that are involved in with that. And while it could have run at half speed, the way all the numbers work out, uh, this particular one doesn't happen to run at half speed. So this is definitely significantly closer now that I've got the motor and everything uh, lined up. Like I say, once these lights have cured, maybe tomorrow, they'll be safe enough to, uh, uh, I can at least put them in here at least. I just don't want to uh, manipulate them a lot or knock them around much. But it sits in nice and tight, naturally, so uh, I'll probably throw a bunch of white glue in there just to seal it in. However, it doesn't really need it. I used uh, CA to seal the LED to the plastic and that clouded everything up, but on the inside it doesn't matter and it did not affect the uh, light value overall. And uh, well, let's light these up here real quick. if the wires will cooperate here so this is definitely going to be bright enough for my purposes and uh... i'm really happy about the way this has come out i've got a war hammer in the box that I may do something similar with it also has some uh, lights on it like this the idea I had for putting a laser pen light laser into uh, one of these barrels didn't work out because the mechanism was just far too large 
but if I ever come across a bigger version of this like 124 or 136 then I would that's something I would definitely do because it would look pretty cool uh, the arms are all done except for paint of course once all this electricity here is all set and I've got this wiring done I can seal up the body glue this guy in uh, and that'll pretty much be it uh, this is really close to finished I never quite found a solution for all the seams running down all the parts one thing I may do is take a really thin piece of styrene and just cut armor squares over everywhere which would definitely fit in with the character of it overall and it would simultaneously hide these really bad seams but uh, it would make a further step where I cannot take this apart if I need to replace anything and uh, that's just a bad situation. I was trying to puzzle out where I could throw some magnets into this so I could hold it together that way but really there's just no place to put them at all where they would work out. So other than that, this guy is definitely, uh, I'm really psyched about this and he's coming along well and hopefully I'll have him sealed up with full electronics working uh, within the next week or so. So that's it for the Rifleman, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.